Hello there guys, my name is Casey Shadon because I've born bought built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update from Flamingoland in Malta, North Yorkshire. Now before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And also make sure you get, click the link in the description down below, we've got one more day to vote for me for the Clamshell Awards. Uh, either best small channel or best established channel would be fantastic. Um, you know, this channel's now at two, over 1,250 subscribers, you know, we're... Uh, only the quarter of the way, well, we're only halfway now to 1,500 subscribers, which is unbelievable. So thank you so, so much for the support. And now let's zoom into the video. So this is a construction update from Flamingoland to Ten Looping Roller Coaster. Um, and it, 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 this is just going to be a fantastic project. And this is going to be fantastic. Um, you know, I'm really, I'm loving the progress on this coaster. Uh, you know, one of the big dreams next year is to get down there for the opening day. Uh, bit of an update actually, I might be, I might, now not confirmed yet, but I might be there on the opening weekend of Alton Towers at the end of March, 21st of March on the Saturday, I might be there, I might be there, so stay tuned for any further updates next year uh, for confirmation if I am or not, but I am looking into it this year, so uh, it'd be really, really cool to get down there in March. Um, but back to Flamingo Land, we have the recent construction updates on the roller coaster. Uh, so not the biggest update in the world today, but just a normal construction update on what's been happening on site recently. Uh, and wow, the vertical loop has gone up, the installers, RCS, have really gone in there. Uh, they've really gone full force with the construction of this project. Uh, and yeah, the vertical loop has now been constructed. Uh, the top, the lift hill's been topped off. The first turn around from the lift hill has all been constructed. The vertical loop, that's up. Um, you know, it's really coming together, this coaster. Uh, and I can't wait to bring you more construction updates uh, later on into the new year on the completion of the track layout, the first testing. If any of you are down there at Flamingoland while they're testing the ride and you catch any testing footage, please send it to me. You can see the Instagram link in the description down below. Uh, you can check out Twitter, Discord, uh, anything from Coast Shell. You can send it to me privately, messagely, um, you know, and just send some testing footage if you're there on the when they test the ride. So uh, let's have a look at this recent construction picture. Now, this now credit for the image goes to Flamingo Land themselves because they post this image on their social media. So let's check out this image on your screen now. Find out what Look at that image. Brilliant construction image. That's the vertical loop top off, one of the big inversions. I think the vertical loop's been one of the most exciting elements to watch the construction of. Uh, same with the consecutive barrel rolls when they start getting constructed. Uh, I think that's going to be a big element for the ride. Uh, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing the rest of the construction of this ride. It looks pretty certain that the ride will stay with the dark red track and the yellow supports. That's pretty much the colour scheme. The red and yellow seems to be the colour scheme of... Uh, of course, Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster, which is the RMC Single Rail at Six Flags uh, Fiesta Texas. Obviously, another red yellow colour scheme is, of course, Intimidator 305 at King's Dominion. I'm not going to lie, the, the colour scheme, um, you know, I would have liked it to have kept with that silver and grey or the black and grey colour scheme that was sort of put in the earlier document, but they've apparently been removed from the documents now, so it looks like we're going to stay with the red and yellow colour scheme. Now, there is rumours flying around of a pirate's theme, so we've got some stuff from themes and names, etc. So we've got the rumour of a pirate theme still floating around because of the uh, Pirates of Zanzibar show just opposite the coaster, uh, with, the, with this being so close to the entrance area, which is where the pirate sort of theme uh, comes about. But I think whatever the theme, whether it's pirates or anything like that, I'm really excited. I think a pirate theme would be fantastic. Uh, and it should be interesting to see what name comes out from Flamingo. And hopefully we see a name confirmed over the winter season. Uh, and fingers crossed we'll see some fantastic stuff from this coaster. So there we go. So that's the recent construction updates. Like I said, uh, any time... Time for Mingleland brings out any more construction updates on their social media. I'll be sure to report it here. Uh, obviously, again, massive shout out to Mingleland. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure, again, click the link in the description down below if you want to vote for, the, for the Clamshell Awards. Voting closes uh, tomorrow at 11:59 a.m. Uh, I will update you guys because I believe that's just for the long list nominations. If I have been shortlisted for a, uh, an award, I will let you know, guys know in the next video. Um, tomorrow so uh, or whenever it gets revealed the shortlist gets revealed so if I am there I'll let you guys know and I'll let you know if you need to vote again or not 
But don't forget, voting closes for these nominations to, uh, tomorrow, 11.59 a.m. So make sure you please get your nominations in. The website link is in the description down below. Check the website for how to vote and check the details and the terms and conditions on how to vote. I'd love to win either Best Small Channel or Best Established Channel would be fantastic for me. I think Best Established Channel, you know, I've seen the description of that. It's the one where the videos keep popping up on your feed. There's been people, there's been mates of mine telling me that my videos are popped up on their feed all the time. So, uh, um, you know, yeah, I really want to win this uh, one of the awards. I think either best small channel or best established channel would be perfect for me, uh, especially for this first full year. Um, so I think those awards will be fantastic. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. We've got another update that I re pre recorded yesterday, still to come, uh, from Fanta World Ningbo. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell. Keep them in the coast of life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, have an awesome day, my friends.